Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today's video is all about fresh strawberries, or more specifically, three easy fresh strawberry desserts that are perfect for summertime. Now that we are in summertime and fresh strawberry season, I thought it'd be fun to do a video showing three easy desserts that use fresh strawberries. I love strawberries, I love desserts, so why not? Like I said, these are all very easy, but they're also very tasty and again, perfect for summertime. So let me jump in with the first one. First up is no bake strawberry cream pie. I love this one because it is so easy, very minimal ingredients and comes together just really quickly. So what you're gonna need to make this is first off for my crust, I always make my own crust. You don't have to, you can get a pre-made graham cracker crust, low fat. Um, if you want, but I always make mine because it's just very easy. I'm going to be using seven sheets of these honey made low fat graham crackers. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of this monk fruit sweetener and then three tablespoons of this Brummel and Brown made with real yogurt butter spread. So that's all you need for the crust. For the filling, you're going to need a box of sugar free strawberry jello. This is the 0.3 ounce size box. Then you're gonna need eight ounces of fat-free whipped topping. I'm just using this Kroger brand. And then in here, I have got four cups of fresh strawberries sliced up. You're also gonna need two third cup boiling water, a half cup cold water, and a half cup ice cubes. But that is everything. Let me jump in and get this started. To do the crust, I've got a Ziploc bag here and I'm going to just simply throw in my seven graham crackers. Zip that up. Break these up really well. I always say you can do this in your food processor if you want, but I don't like to dirty mine for such a small job. So I just do it this way and it works really well. And while I am breaking these up, I'm going to get my Brummel and Brown, three tablespoons of that melting. I've got these nice and crushed up. So now in my melted Brummel and Brown, I'm gonna add these in, along with a teaspoon of that monk fruit. And then I'm gonna just stir all of this together really well. And while I'm stirring this, I have got my two third cup of water heating up in the microwave. And I just wanna get that to almost a boiling point, just really, really hot. So got that going while I'm doing this. Okay, this looks good. So now I'm gonna take my pie pan here. I'm gonna dump this in it and press that down into the bottom of the pan. And again, if you wanna use a pre-made graham cracker crust, you absolutely can and make this pie even more easy than it already is. But this for me is not a big deal. It's pretty easy and a whole lot cheaper to just do it yourself. Okay, I've got that pressed in and I just press mine into the bottom. I don't go up the sides cause it's just a lot easier to do it this way. So now I'm gonna take this and put this in my fridge while I work on the rest of the pie. So in a large bowl here, I'm gonna take my two third cup, almost boiling water I might go with that for about four minutes. And to that, I'm gonna add in my Jello. And I'm gonna just stir this together until that Jello is completely dissolved in there. I've got that all dissolved, so now I'm gonna add in a half cup of cold water and about a half cup of ice cubes. And then I'm gonna just stir all of this together until this starts to slightly thicken and then you're going to just want to basically let it sit for a few minutes or so. Okay, this is starting to kind of thicken up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell that. So now I'm going to add in my whipped topping and stir that in there really well. And now I'm going to stir in my sliced strawberries. And now I'm gonna put this in my fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes to let it set up a little bit. All right, I've got my crust here and my filling that I let sit in there in the fridge, both of them, for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna give this filling a quick stir. And now I'm gonna pour it into my crust. 
Now I'm gonna cover this with some saran wrap and let it sit in the fridge for a good five, six hours. Probably actually overnight is best. So I'll be back once this has sat and firmed up nicely. It is the next day. I let this sit in the fridge overnight. So it is ready. So now what I'm gonna do is cut a piece out and show you what a serving size is and what the points are. Okay, I've got a serving of this cut out and that is gonna be a 10th of the total pie. And for me, that is four points. I'll show you the inside of it a little bit better maybe. This is so good. It's very light, kind of fluffy, but very flavorful. And like I said, just super easy to make, but very, very good. So again, four points for a serving and definitely worth it. Next up is fresh strawberry bread. This is a easy, quick, sweet bread that uses fresh strawberries, but you could use honestly any type of fruit that you want. I just really love the way fresh strawberries taste in this, but I have done it with other fruits. So what you're gonna need for this is first off, you're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need two teaspoons baking powder, a half teaspoon salt. You're gonna need three quarter cup sweetener. I'm using this monk fruit sweetener. I'm really liking this lately. It's very, very good as a sugar substitute. Then of course, you're gonna need fresh strawberries. I've got two cups of fresh strawberries cut up here. You're gonna need a large egg, a quarter cup of no sugar added applesauce, two teaspoons lemon juice, teaspoon vanilla, a quarter cup oil, I'm using canola, and then finally three quarter cup plain unsweetened almond milk. And that is everything, so let me get this started. First off, you wanna get your oven preheating to 350 and then in a medium sized bowl here, I'm gonna add my two cups flour, half teaspoon salt, and two teaspoons baking powder. And then I'm gonna just stir all of those together really well. And then I'm gonna set that aside. And then in a large bowl, or you could do this in your mixer, I typically do it in my mixer, but my KitchenAid is currently being used for something else. So I'm gonna use a large bowl this time. You're gonna add in your egg, oil, quarter cup applesauce, two teaspoons lemon juice, three quarter cup almond milk, teaspoon vanilla, and three quarter cup monk fruit. And then I'm gonna just whisk all of this together really, really well. And now that I've got that all whisked together, I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients. And I'm gonna mix these in just until everything is well moistened. You don't wanna over mix this. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to add in my strawberries and I'm gonna just kinda of gently fold these in. Now I'm gonna take a loaf pan. I'm just using the silicone one. I really like these because they uh, release whatever's in them pretty well. But I'm also gonna add, just for extra measure, a little bit of cooking spray to the inside of that. And then I'm gonna just pour my batter in. I'm gonna smooth that in there. And I'm gonna bake this at 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. I let this cook for just about 60 minutes and it is done. So I've got it sitting here and I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes in the pan, probably about 10 or so. And then I'm gonna take it out and put it on this cooling rack and let it cool some more before I cut into it. But I will be back at that point. All right, I have let this cool completely basically on my cooling rack here and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it. So I've got my cutting board here. I'm gonna transfer it over to that. Now serving of this is a 12th 
And for me, that is four points. Uh, that's what it looks like inside. Nice and moist. And again, this is four points for me for a slice, which is a 12th, and I don't think that's bad at all. Definitely for as good as this stuff is. My hubby just came down, so I'm gonna go ahead and have him taste it on camera. Let us know what he thinks. I'll show you. Definitely cooked well. Not over or underdone. Yeah. Four points. That's really good. Um, so. In case you're wondering about the points. The the bread, it, it's almost scone like. It's got more moisture than a scone, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have. It's not overly sweet. Well, yeah. I you could definitely go sweeter on this, if you want. I only put three quarter cup monk fruit in it, so you could probably go a little more, honestly, if you want sweeter. But it really makes the strawberry flavor pop. And you don't necessarily, another reason I didn't use as much is he doesn't necessarily like super sweet stuff. And I'm still kind of... Except for you. Except for me, yeah. We know that's not true. I'm still working with that monk fruit, kind of trying to figure out exactly how much you need. So for you, sweetness level, is it a little low still? It, it, just, it just depends on what you're wanting. I personally like scones. Yeah. You know, I, I like the more savory type of pastry on occasion. Mm -hmm. So I'm totally fine with the way it is. So you would describe this as scone-like? Except for the moisture level. Except for the moisture level. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, guys. That is fresh strawberry bread. Like I said, you can definitely do this with different types of fruits. And you can also up that uh, sweetness level if you want. I would say probably not more than about a cup, maybe a little more, cup and a quarter. But again, I only used a three quarter cup of the monk fruit in this. But anyway, definitely make little changes to kind of make it your own. But uh, that was fresh strawberry bread. A final recipe is for strawberry icebox cake. I really enjoy making the icebox cakes because they are very easy, but I really like the way they look and taste, of course, as well. But I have done a couple other ones. I will link another video up above and down below that shows one that is also really good for summertime. It's a triple berry one that has fudge bars in it. Very, very good. Like I said, I will link that up above and down below if you wanna check that one out as well. But again, this one is just a simple strawberry one. And even though it's simple, it's very good. So let me jump in with the ingredients. First off, you're gonna need three cups of fresh sliced strawberries. You're gonna need a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. You're gonna need half a container or four ounces of fat-free whipped topping. Here is three ounces of a third less fat cream cheese. I've got a lemon here. I'm gonna be using a little bit of zest from this for the filling. And then I'm also gonna get about a teaspoon of juice out of this. Here I have got some low fat cinnamon graham crackers. Now you can use plain chocolate, whatever flavor you want, but I am using a low fat cinnamon this time. You're also gonna need a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then for sweetener, I'm gonna be using some of this Swerve Confectioners. This stuff, I have said before is extremely sweet in my opinion and also in my opinion I do not think it measures like sugar like it says here at all. So I'm going to probably be using about a tablespoon of this. If I was using regular confectioners like I've done in the past I would be using two but we're going to start off with just one and that's probably going to do it. But if I have to add more I will. And then finally of course my strawberries. I've got three cups of fresh sliced strawberries here and that is gonna be it. First off in my mixer here I'm gonna add in my three ounces of cream cheese, my cup of fat-free Greek yogurt, and my tablespoon of that Swerve confectioners. Then I'm gonna get this mixing here 
and I'm gonna mix it on medium speed for probably about four minutes or so. I just wanna get that nice and mixed well, nice and creamed together. So I'm gonna let that go for about four minutes, like I said, and then I will be back. So while that's mixing, I'm actually gonna just zest my lemon too. Again, I'm looking for some for the filling. Also, I wanna juice this and get about a teaspoon or so of juice out of it. But as I always say, you wanna just zest the yellow part, not, you don't wanna get into the white pith because that is very bitter. So just getting the outside yellow for the zest. This is all nice and creamed together. And I did taste it and added another teaspoon of that Swerve Confectioners to it. So four teaspoons total. So now to this, I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon vanilla and a teaspoon of that fresh lemon juice. And then about a teaspoon of lemon zest or the zest from one small lemon. And now I'm gonna mix that again for another probably 30 seconds or so. And now to my filling, I'm gonna add in half of this whipped topping. And I'm gonna just fold that in. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm taking a bread pan here and I'm going to press down a piece of parchment paper in it. And you wanna leave some hanging out so that you can use it as candles later. Okay, I've got that pressed in, so now I'm going to take my graham crackers and I'm going to put a layer of them on the bottom. Like that, and those do not fit in there the best on that first layer, but just get them in there the best you can. So now I'm going to take half of my cream cheese mixture and I'm going to lay that on top of the graham crackers and smooth that in there. And then I'm gonna take half of my strawberries and lay those on top. Now I'm gonna take another layer of graham crackers and kind of press down with them. I'm gonna push, that, push the strawberries in there a little bit. And then on top of those, I'm gonna put my remaining cream cheese mixture. and evenly spread that out. And then finally I'm gonna to top with my remaining strawberries. Now I'm gonna cover with a piece of plastic wrap, the best I can here. I'm gonna lay that over. And I'm going to put this in my fridge for probably four to six hours, even overnight. Basically what you're looking for is you want that to sit in the fridge long enough for those graham crackers to absorb some of the moisture, become soft and cake-like. So again, four to six hours or even better overnight. But I will be back once this is ready to cut into. Okay, it is the next day. I went ahead and just let this sit overnight. Here it is. I've got a cutting board here. I'm gonna pull it out with my little parchment paper handles. And set it on the cutting board. And it smells amazing. And now I'm gonna cut a slice out. This does eight servings. And each serving is four points. I had to think there for a second. So I'll go ahead and slice off roughly what a serving is. All right, there's a serving of that. And I'll show you the inside, maybe a little better. Let's see, inside. Like I said, this stuff is very good, very easy, and really pretty low in points too for four points. So that is going to wrap up my three easy summer strawberry desserts. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna see maybe another one of these, I definitely have more strawberry desserts and I can do another one of these videos. Let me know down in the comments below. But thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.